very nice. Even better in real life then. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday Shave and uh, hope you're having a great weekend or have a great weekend. It's uh, on the last day of it now. Last day of the week. Um, okay, so new two new products in this um, and two gifts they wear. So the first one is this, as in the title. It's the Icon B1 OSS Head and the Icon OSS Handle. So it's a dual um, head, open comb one side and a normal safety bar edge on the other. Now I've put this camera in manual mode so it should keep on me. Um, there's a little feature on this I didn't realise that you can put on landscape or portrait which is made like a person. So I'm hoping it's working. Um, but that's the razor. It's a three piece uh, non-adjustable but it is different as I say on each side uh, open comb and uh, normal on that side good weight to it nice balance roughly around there um, diamond knurling very nice so thank you Felix he's the one that sent me the last razor I used and thanks for clarity in the comments on that the um, rot bart or rot bart um, I didn't realise their association with Gillette and uh, apparently um, uh, Gillette bought them out or something like that so maybe that's why there was a um, it may have been a Gillette razor not a mix up because they bought the company apparently anyway thank you for, the, for that so that's the um, razor and the blade in there I'm going to use a brand new Gillette Wilkinson uh, from the uh, this, uh, saloon pack um, good razor good blade so you can see it there, you can see the exposure on each side. And a gift from a, another YouTube wet shaver in the States, Don Fraser, <laughs> the conversational shaver, and, uh, or conversational shavings, eh? and that's what he sent me, shaving soap. So thank you, Don. Looking forward to the scent. It's gorgeous from the pack. It's an artisan soap, handcrafted, Great, great blend, bend KS, made to measure shaving soap. So there it is again, if it's focusing, should be. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what it is. And this, as I say, great bend KS, Kansas, great bend Kansas, is it? The scent is like a crop. Uh, beautiful. I've taken some from the bottom there as you can see and I've put it in the Captain's Choice original bowl spread it in and I've just got some water on my fingers and flicked it, warm water so a sort of a sort of bloom, the Paul H Films brush that'll be wet and wet the face and we'll get going So what sort of a weekend you're having? Good one, I hope. Having a chilled out one here, nice and relaxed. Lot of cooking, of course. Look at this mess already. So here we go. I'll flick this out. So it's it is wet, but it's not dripping. And straight away. We're doing good things. Again, if you're working, many thanks for your service. Uh, I've sent off the the winner prize of the giveaway. So Tony, if you're watching, um, if it didn't arrive yesterday, I hope it arrives Monday and. Uh, Enjoy, I hope you enjoy it. Look at that, perfect. Absolutely stunning to lather up. So then a few drops of water on that crop, that bit, work treat, and the wet brush, of course, and we got a peak there. Okay, now the scent of this is quite a 
floral-ish, but there's also a cologne scent. It reminds me of one of my um, Tale of Old Bond Street scents, actually. One of those nice... Wow. It's not a strong scent, but it's a... Uh, it's a very nice scent. So thanks again, Don. I'll put a link to Don's channel in the video description. Go and check him out, say hello. I know some of you, or most of you maybe, will have heard of Don or watch him or whatever on his channel, but uh, if you haven't, go and check him out. Tell him I said hello. Sent you to say hello. That's lovely. So I can go there. And we're going to warm the uh, the icon B1 OSS. Thank you, Felix. As I say, you'll see these being used, cared for. And uh, well, you'll see them again. You see, they haven't sort of they haven't gone. So I'm going to use the open comb side first. Here we go, brand new Gillette Wilkinson blade. Wow, that's a nice feeling razor, nice um, aggression. I'm going to judge that on the second pass because the first one you got whiskers, is it's not a true sort of judgment really, is it? So we'll keep with the open comb. Feels very solid, very smooth, nice. Uh, the blade's working well with this. So far, so good. I'd say it's a... On, on this first pass. Sort of a medium aggression, very smooth and comfortable. Lovely scent. Yeah, it's coming across more cologne now, sort of. It's a lovely scent. As I say, it's a mild scent, but very nice. So we'll just wet this. And very slick. That's a nice razor, that. We'll try the um, standard bar side now. And we'll have it up again. Very easy to lather. So made in Kansas, I think they do different scents of soaps and I've not used it before, but um, judging on the first use like this, it's a gorgeous scent from the puck. It's the same scent as it's lathered and applied to the face and as you shave you can smell it, the scent doesn't change, which can do in some shaves in some cases. Sometimes you'll smell a, a soap in the puck and it smells a bit different to when you've lathered it up. But this is the same, nice scent, mild scent, 
and there's good slickness on that first pass and we'll see how it does now with the standard size size side of this Icon B1 OSS I'm just judging the aggression on both sides Hang on. Well, I was cutting through those whiskers. Let me just try this side. Okay, so to me, the open comb side is slightly more aggressive than the standard size. Side, size. But it doesn't lack in because it's less aggressive. Still cuts through those whiskers. Very nice, very smooth razor, comfortable. Wow, good audio feedback as well. So what's the old uh, shave of the day then? I thought you'd never ask, have you said? I like reading that what people are using. As I cook, I've got the laptop there and I'm reading through the comments. I'm going to tell you something else I noticed with this, which I've not mentioned yet. No overhang. There you can see that. No overhang nice so it is truly a safety razor <laughs> that's the second pass I did flick from the open to the standard bar during that just to see the difference in aggression so for me the open comb is slightly more aggressive than the standard um, not always the case. A lot of people think open combs going to be more aggressive. Not always the case. Sometimes they look a bit more frightening than they actually are because you can surprise yourself. You start shaving. And, wow, that doesn't feel as aggressive as it looks, but uh, it's nice. So you've got the best of both worlds with this. I know this is a gift off uh, Felix, but I'll put the icon website below if you want to see any this razor or any of their razors. This is a beautiful soap to lather. That's, look at that. Look at that. Hopefully this camera's okay, this focus now. Because uh, if not, I'll go back to the, the other setting I was using because it wasn't that bad. It's all to do with lighting and things like that. Really nice. Wish you could smell it, actually. Wish you could smell it. Keeps nice and clean. So what I'm going to do on the third pass, I'm going to go with the open comb and then probably pick ups with the standard against the growth. The Gillette Wilkinson working very nice in this razor.
and uh, Sunday dinner is going to be sort of a Sunday brunch, it's different. Uh, I'm mixing my breakfast and dinner in one. I'm doing bacon, eggs, I've had fresh eggs off a of farm. So smoky bacon, uh, fried eggs, because they're only small eggs, two eggs, uh, sausage, pork sausage, black pudding, if you don't know what that is, Google it, black pudding. And um, well, we've got some hash browns, mushrooms, tomatoes fried, and beans, baked beans. For a change. I haven't had a fry up for a while. And I couldn't have a fry up breakfast and a dinner, so I thought, oh, I'll mix the two, we'll have a, a brunch, shall we say. I'm very lucky to have, uh, to have eggs, you know, given to me from people, very kind. And I'll also be, um, as you may know, especially if you follow me on my other channel, I like my chilli and hot curries and things like that, spices, because I do a weekly hot and spicy on that channel on a Saturday. And um, I'm growing this year, or attempting to grow, I've grown chilies the last few years myself, only a couple, and I've got some Carolina Reaper seeds, which wear the hottest curry in the world, uh, <laughs> chilli in the world. But there's a couple now ahead of that now. But, um, wow, that's nice. Let me just rinse this. So it's, um, we'll see how it goes. And I've actually got 10, 10 seeds. So you expect them not all to to germinate three to one pick up time baby nearly forgot then um i'm not expecting them all to germinate but uh if they do because i only want a couple of plants i'm going to give some away to a, a couple of colleagues and whatever see how it goes so i'm going to use now the standard size side size i keep saying for the pick up time baby So it gives you a really close shave, this. Um, there we go. About time. I thought you'd be tired. And don't forget if you wanna, if you're not a member, Head over to Facebook to the Paul Paul's Wetheads Facebook group. All the links are in the description. Yeah, you wouldn't want to overdo it with this razor. Not a doesn't feel aggressive to me. It's sort of a mid aggression, but it's very close. Feels lovely and close. It could be a good match for this blade actually
Okay, I've got a couple of dots. So let's see if we can add to them, shall we? Superb, absolutely superb. So we'll have a cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, that's lovely. And don't forget to get half of it down your shirt. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, you can't beat a good shave. Can't beat. Lovely. Stunning colours there. Deep red. Love that. Deep red. Okay. Humphreys uh, Witch Hazel. We're going to use the Citrus Witch Hazel. I really like this. And um, a match, not a perfect match, but the same similarity for my scent in aftershave. I'm going to use this fine platinum. It's a similar, down the same road scent. Yeah, it'll match well. It's not the same, but it's, you know, down the... We're heading down the, the right street, shall we say. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on, come on. Come on. That is nice. That is nice. Yeah, I think you would like it. <laughs> and then to finish off, I'm going to use this L'Oreal uh, Hydra Energetic Moisturising Gel for skin and stubble. So if you just shave into a stubble if you're keeping a stubble it's good to keep that sort of soft and um, cared for should we say mrs h bought me this i wasn't sure i'd like a gel but it's, it works out it's a beautiful stuff um you just need a couple of pumps of it it's not sticky or tacky really nice That's a lovely, lovely shave. That's the end result. How's that? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your shave today, if you haven't. So again, thanks very much, Felix. Um, I've got another um, razor uh, from Felix to try um, in a future video as well. And that's, that'll be an interesting one. A few people have asked me to use this particular razor, but I didn't have one. But I have now. So here we go. This is the Icon B1 OSS head. And it's a dual comb, if you like. Open comb, standard, uh, dual head. Beautiful. Mid-aggression for me. And this is the OSS uh, handle on this one, this particular model. They do different handles and different heads. As I say, I'll put a link to their website to have a look if you want. But most of you know about Icon. Good stuff. Nice razor, nicely balanced, good weight, very smooth, felt good quality. The dual head works nicely and the open comb was slightly more aggressive than the standard. The standard was roughly similar to that tech I just used really. So whether they've based it on a tech, um, I don't know. And then this open comb bit is slightly more aggressive than that. But very comfortable, very nice. The um, gift from Don is the Artisan Soaps Handcrafted Great Bend Kansas Made to Measure Shaving Soap. Beautiful scent, easy to lather, good slickness. The lather lasts and um, really worked well. Nice, mild scent. And um, it's a sort of floral but cologne scent. Really nice. It reminds me of one of the Taylor Bond Street um, soaps I've got 
Uh, my own brush, Paul H brush from DS Cosmetic. This is the citrine handle, which I sort of created, if you like, the colours, and the synthetic knot there. The Captain's Choice Original Bowl. The Gillette Wilkinson Blade, brand new. We used Welsh water to rinse. Humphreys Citrus Witch Hazel. Um, some fine platinum aftershave, beautiful stuff. And then the L'Oreal, this um, skin and stubble moisturising gel. Good stuff. So, many thanks again, Don and uh, Felix. And thank you for watching. And I hope you have some fantastic shaves. Have a laugh if you can. Stay in good health. And look after yourselves. And uh, thanks for your support again. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.